You're not very bright, are you? <laughs> Getting told that by a knowledge spirit is the wildest, dirtiest thing, bruh. Aang now knows how to earthbend. Well, he's beginning his training and it's so far successful. On top of that, Zuko is starting to learn about the lightning from Iroh. But our little baby is a trauma baby and I'm worried about him. So let's jump into today's episode. But hey, before we get started, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Help support the channel. And uh, if you want to do it a little bit extra, though, you can check out the Patreon with early access to episodes, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut for all the series I watch here on the channel for five bucks a month. But hey, no pressure. It's only if you feel like supporting the channel a little bit extra. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> it just makes me super excited because like the end Previously, of the oh. on Avatar. Oh. I discovered a hidden library. I tore through scroll after They're scroll. Showing Zhao? Is Zhao alive? You're an earthbender. Susan's I said that motherfucker had a really unsatisfying death, which made it feel like he didn't actually die. Because they didn't really do anything. They kinda just went up he just kinda disappeared. I said that back when it happened, but like, why would you even need him now? Like, get his boogity ass out of here. Azula's way better for a villain. Come you don't need a third, third rate summer, villain. And Fire Lord Ozai will use its power. Oh damn, what's You that? must defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. How far away is the car comet right now? The library. Ooh, does Gon have secret knowledge? It'd be really cool if there was like a war or something that happens this episode. Not actually, there's hundreds. Not episode season, because like the the end of like last season, that whole massive like warp on the water tribe was insane. It would be so cool if they had another one of those Ground, this season. Don't ruin the surprise. Just watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Orchestra together. Orchestra, huh? Well, la di da. <laughs> this is great and all, but don't we have more important things to worry about? We should be making plans. Hmm. We did make plans. We're all picking many vacations. I've been training my arrow off. Yeah. What's wrong with having a little fun? And I'm sorry. That that was such clever writing. <laughs> As if I traded my ass off. I'm trading my arrow off, homie. For real, for real, okay? It's hard out here. Let me have a break. Our downtime. Even if you do master all of the elements, then what? It's not like we have a map of the Fire Nation. Should we just head west until we reach the Fire Lord's house? Knock, knock. Hello, Fire Lord? Anybody home? I don't think so. We need some intelligence if we're going to win this war. <laughs> All right. We'll finish our vacations and then we'll look for Sokka's intelligence. <laughs> okay, we're laughing at Sokka, but he's saying like real ass shit right now. Okay, we all laughing at him like he goofy. And listen, he's normally the comic relief character, but he's got good points. He's got some good points. Your turn, Katara. Where would you like to go on your mini vacation? Oh yeah, I've been there. It's a pristine natural ice spring, and I usually don't use the word pristine. It's oh. one of nature's wonders. Oh. Must have changed ownership since I was here. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is not pristine. Oh, that is so sad. But they all got global warming or something? What happened? Okay, yikes. One mango, please. Oh, mango! Oh, fruit ninja! <laughs> oh! I don't see anything wrong with having one of those fruity beverages. While those are, those things look like they smack, bruh. Excuse me. <gasps> no worries. I clean up easy. You're a living relic. Thanks. <laughs> I try. An air nomad right in front of me. 
Professor Zay, head of anthropology oh. at Ba Sing Se University. Ba Sing Se? You, the Ba Sing Se, like the one that Iroh was outside of for 600 days? The one that, like, there's a whole betrayal in ish for, like, when it comes to his son, like, he, how he, that's where he got dishonored and all that crap? But that Ba Sing Se? Oh, the one where he wrote the letter from? Oh! Oh! Which of the air temples? Does that mean we're gonna get a Ba Sing Se episode soon? Am I gonna finally learn about Iroh's babies? Do you hail from? The Southern Temple. Oh, splendid! Now tell me, what was the primary agricultural product of your people? Uh, our fruit pie is an agricultural product. Oh, truly fascinating. Uh, that is one for the journal. So, Professor, <laughs> it's you're kind of obviously a well traveled guy. <laughs> Do you have a more current map? Ours seems to be a little dated. Certainly. Hmm? What, no Fire Nation? Doesn't anybody have a good map of that place? You've made a lot of trips into the desert. All in vain, I'm afraid. Find the Crown Jewel. The Crown Jewel? One Shi Tong's library. You spent years walking <laughs> through the desert? <laughs> Get Top's crusty ass toes the hell off my screen. Oh my god, I know she walked barefoot, but god damn, those are some nasty ass toes. To find some guys Get them out of here. <laughs> this library is more valuable than gold, little lady. It is said to contain a vast collection of knowledge. Help of his foxy knowledge seekers. Oh, so this spirit has attractive assistance, huh? Foxy? I think he means they look like actual foxes, Sokka. Oh. You're both right. Handsome little creatures. Wan Shitong and his knowledge seekers collected books from all over the world and put them on display. This mofucker a furry! <laughs> He's like, yeah, those dudes are attractive. And they foxes. Like, uh Fair enough. Be into what you into, bestie. I hope you thrive. Play for mankind to read so that we might better ourselves. If this place has books from all over the world, do you think they've got info on the Fire Nation? A map, maybe? I, I love that they had slurping but shots of the straws. Because they even did the first star earlier, too. It's in Wan Shitong's library. Then it's settled. Aang, I do believe it's my turn. I'd like to spend my vacation at the library! Uh, hey, what about me? When do I get to pick? You gotta work here a little longer before you qualify for vacation time. That's fair. <laughs> That's of course, fair. <laughs> it's the matter of finding it. I've made several trips into the Siwong Desert and almost died each time. I'm afraid that desert. Wait a second. Where the hell are the people who are going after Toph? Did we just forget about them? That her parents are like pissed that she left? Are they ever gonna come back and send more people after or parents thing or anything? No, we just the plot is just gonna be left. Oh, they gonna address it later on. That's gonna be a later on kind of conflict. Okay, they just developing other parts. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Never mind. Professor, would you like to see our sky bison? A sky bison? You actually have one? <laughs> Sandbenders, show away from the bison. Oh, sandbenders. Ooh, because they earthbender for Shan. Ooh, that's cool as hell. Oh, that's cool. Because it kind of seemed like it kind of seemed like airbending, but it's not for real because they're just bending the sands. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Tell me, Sky Bison, are you the last of your breed? Oh, delightful! Oh, I only wish I spoke his tongue. Oh, the stories this beast could tell. I thought Appa was saying, yeah, and then he goes, delightful, you're all dead. <laughs> what? No, he just doesn't. <laughs> he's just weirdly perky. Shush, chatty monkey. Oh, wow. Don't, don't tell Momo to shush. Like out here. Chatty monkey's a good boy. <laughs> oh, does this place even exist? Some say it doesn't. Shouldn't you have mentioned that before? Mm. Nope. <laughs> there it is! Huh? That's what it will sound like when one of you spots it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. 
Okay. Oh, she got me too. I was like, did the writers forget she's blind? <laughs> what the hell just happened? And they all, the worst part was that they all believed her. They were like, she saw it? With the, the hand over the eyes? <laughs> so, it got me. It got me. <laughs> That's what it will sound like when one of you spots it. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard to spot a giant ornate building from the air. Ooh. Down there. What's that? What is that? A tower or pillar lookout? Forget it. It's obviously not what we're looking for. The building in this drawing is enormous. Oh. Oh. Clues? And or knowledge? What kind of animal is that? Whoa. I think that was one of the knowledge seekers. Okay. Oh, we must be close to the library. No. You... This is the library. Dun 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 dun. I feel that's what's happening. But anyways, so like, can we talk about that? Because this dude said that those things would be foxy and hot and attractive and handsome. But also wolves. But that just flat out a, a wolf. I'm pretty sure this dude's into bestiality. He's no longer a furry. At least furries are like a humanoid, you know what I'm saying? This is... That's just a dog. <laughs> this is the library. Look! It's completely buried. Good thing we got an airbender. You can blow away the sand. Get to it, Aang. Get to the it. The library is buried? My life's ambition is now full of sand. Well, time to start excavating. <laughs> <laughs> this dude just don't give up. Actually, that won't be necessary. The inside seems to be completely intact. Oh. And it's huge. I say you guys go ahead without me. You've got something against libraries? I've held books before, and I gotta tell you, they don't exactly do it for me. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, come on, Katara. <laughs> like, are we, are we kidding here? <laughs> like... Wow, she she's gonna love reading. Like, I don't know if they have Braille yet, so it's like, come on, this is... Let me know if they have something you can listen to. Yeah, see, like, ugh. Top is such a good spirit, honestly. I love don't that. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not making you go underground ever again. You could stay out here with Toph. Oh? What's up? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they got me. It got me though. <laughs> oh, it's breathtaking. The spirit spirit. No, you're breathtaking. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Keanu? Huh? <laughs> In this place. Look at those beautiful buttresses. <laughs> buttresses? <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. But we just like architecture. As do I. <laughs> buttresses. <laughs> My word! The exquisite mosaic handiwork of this tile rendered avian symbol. Uh, nice owl. Mm hmm. That's right. That's a big chungus. I know you're back there. Ooh! I'm Professor Zay, Head of Anthropology at Ba Sing Se University. You should leave the way you came. Unless you want to become a stuffed Head of Anthropology. Are you the spirit who brought this library to the physical world? Indeed. I am one Shi Tong. That is the coolest shit. Oh my god. Can we talk about this? This big ass owl can speak their language. And communicate and yeah it's a spirit like whole and it brought the life oh my god that's so cool oh that's so he cool. who knows ten thousand things and you are obviously 10, humans which by the way are no longer permitted in my study what do you have against humans hmm. humans only bother learning things to get the edge on other humans like that firebender who came to this place <gasps> a few years ago looking to destroy his enemy Whoa! So. Whoa! 
Oh, sorry, it was flashbang, so I had to play it again. Whoa! Yo, that's the library! This is the all oh, where he learned about the spirits! And learned about that one of them, they, they went into physical form and then took the, 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 the ah the fish! The fish from book one! That's where Zhao was being a dickhead! Who are you trying to destroy? Oh, 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 oh. What? No, 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 no destroying. We're not into that. Then why have you come here? Um, knowledge for knowledge's sake? If you're going to lie to an all-knowing spirit being, you should at least put some effort into it. <laughs> it's I'm true. Lying. I'm here with the Avatar, and he's the bridge between our worlds. He'll vouch for me. Ow. Uh, yeah, I'll vouch. We will not abuse the knowledge in your library, good spirit. You have my word. Hmm. Very well. I'll let you peruse my vast collection. Wow. On one condition. To prove your worth as scholars, you have to contribute some worthwhile knowledge. Please accept this tome as a donation to your library. First edition. Very nice. Ooh. I have an authentic waterbending scroll. Oh, these illustrations are quite stylish. Nice! Uh, oh, I know! Ha! I suppose that counts. I suppose that counts! <laughs> oh, great spirit! Check this out! Ta-da! It's a special knot! That counts as knowledge! You're not very bright, are you? <laughs> Getting told that by a knowledge spirit is the wildest, dirtiest thing, bruh. Not everybody can be roasted Sokka like that. That's Enjoy the wild. Library. Bright enough to fool you. Oh, Sokka. So, oh, Sokka. Like we made a flying? promise, Sokka. You can't... Sokka, you can't do it, Sokka. I'm on the ground where I can see. Well, I don't see the way you do. I feel the vibrations in the ground with my feet. This is so but cute. The sand is so loose and shifty. It makes everything look fuzzy. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, you being fuzzy is fine, Appa. It's just that he likes the clearer images for her feeling on the ground. Ooh. Hey, look at these weird lion turtle things. I've seen weirder. Aang, did you know in a past life you were left-handed? I always knew I was special. <laughs> Don't steal, Sokka. The darkest day in Fire Nation history. It's got a date at the top, but it doesn't say anything else. What the hell, Sokka? Sokka, where are you going? I want to know what happened to the Fire Nation on their darkest day. This could be promising. So the information on the Fire Nation should be right up here. Sokka. Firebenders. They destroyed everything having to do with the Fire Nation. That's so unfair! Just when I think I'm one step ahead of the Fire Nation, it turns out they beat us here a long time ago. I need to know what happened on the darkest day. Oh. Hello, little weird fox guy. Fox helper. Seems it's trying to assist you. Um, sure. I guess I'll follow you. Yeah, why not, I guess? <laughs> I, I don't know. What else we have better to do? What? They hide it in the walls. They're as they spirited away when they go in the walls. The little sugar, the little like dust thingies that carry the little sprinkles when they when they eat food. Sorry, <laughs> tangent. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, we opened it from the other side. Jeez. Oh damn! They put this box to work. Whoa. I love going into star this domes. They're one of my favorite marvel. things. A mechanical wonder. I used to go to this one that was like this huge, huge one, and like you could walk throughout it. And um, I had like it wasn't like a friend, but they just worked there, and 
they were super super nice that whenever i would go there i always because I, I have a favorite constellation my favorite constellation is corona borealis because there's two tails and um obviously the god of wine lit love partying but it's actually like this beautiful tale about like um being betrothed to somebody who loves like wealth over you but still finding love in the most unlikely of places and having like sure like a great like someone who you would see as a great love and a great prospect might be nice but you never know who's coming next and you, know, you get surprised by love. It's kind of like this cool concept. Anyways, that's a whole tangent. But yeah, Corona Borealis is one of my favorite. It's called like the Northern Crown. And uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> and whenever I go there, like they would always make sure to like shift it to that when I walked in. It was really, really cool of them. So I just, yeah, it was really nice. And I just, I love going there. So, and whenever I see a star dome, I just get really like nostalgic for it. It's a planetarium that shows the heavens moving. The heavens? Oh, this is beautiful, but. How is it helpful? Maybe these dials represent dates and times. Sokka, try entering that date from that parchment you took. Shh, Katara! Not in front of the fox, he's with the owl. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm not a snitch. <laughs> is it gonna be the meteor? What's it gonna be? Gotta hand it to you, Sokka. You picked the best mini vacation, for sure. Hey, wait. What happened to the sun? Great. You must have broken it. It's not broken. The sun is behind the moon. It's a solar eclipse. Yeah. It's literally the darkest day in Fire Nation history. Now I get it. Something awful happened on that day. I don't know what, but I do know why. Firebenders lose their bending during a solar eclipse! <laughs> Sorry. That makes sense. I mean, think of what the lunar eclipse at the... We have a problem. Can we use this information when we leave? Will we magically forget? How does that work? Because we promised we wouldn't use the information from here. Outside, right? How does this work? Fine, you earned it. We've got to get this information to the Earth King at Ba Sing Se. No. We'll wait for the next eclipse, then we'll invade the Fire Nation when they're totally helpless. The Fire Lord is going down! Mortals are so predictable and such terrible liars. Mr. Owlman! You betrayed my trust. From the beginning, you intended to misuse this knowledge for evil purposes. You don't understand. If anyone's evil, it's the Fire Nation. You saw what they did to your library. They're destructive and dangerous. We need this information. You think you're the first person to believe their war was justified? Ooh. Countless others before you have come here, seeking weapons or weaknesses or battle strategies. We had no choice. Please, we're just desperate to protect the people we love. And now, I am going to protect what I love. What the hell is this What are you name? doing? I'm taking my knowledge back. No one will ever abuse it again. He's sinking the building! We've got to get out of here! I'm afraid I can't allow that. You already know too much. Ah! What ah! the hell?! Ah! We gotta go, bitches. <laughs> Told you, I don't want to snuggle. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Library sinking. Library sinking! Oh my God, she's holding it up a bit. She's getting pulled down now. But oh my God, she she like slowed it down for a second. You see that? She is actually one of these. Oh, she made a solid ground for herself. Oh. She's, she's, like, actually the best bender in this entire show right now. Except for Amy's and Avatar State. Like, she's, she is such a master of her craft. It's, like, and so smart. I beg you, do not destroy your vast collection of priceless tomes! Let's go! 
But we still don't know when the next eclipse is gonna happen. Don't be stupid. We'll find out later. No, we won't. If we leave this place, we'll never get the information. And come with me to the planet. You listen, Jesus. Sokka is so smart. Like season two Sokka, book two Sokka is just goaded. Oh my God. Sandbenders, why? Why? Are you going to help or destroy? No, they're bending sand. She gets confused when it moves and shifts. It's all fuzzy to her. But eclipses in the past, then maybe I can project when the next one will be. You can't possibly check every single day. I don't have to. We just need to check every day before Sozin's Comet arrives. Because after that, well, try not to think. Oh, he's so brilliant. Dude, Sokka is so smart. What? Like, he just doesn't miss. Like, this episode, even previous episodes for, for book two, he's just improved so much. And yeah, he's always a goofy comic relief character, but he's such an asset to the team through his thought processes. Like, oh, he's making such good decisions. I'm so proud of him. Like, he gets to have his own character development beyond just, like, his women troubles or, like, beyond the heartache he felt when losing people. Like, he's just... He's, oh, I'm so proud of him. It's just a few months away. Got it. Now let's get to Bossing Say. Oh my god. They're trying to capture Appa? Oh, because he's not man. It wasn't about the, the, the cast. Oh. Oh, they're studying themselves too. Oh, the they same. put this down. She missed because she can't see. Because it's all fuzzy because she can't feel the ground. But shifting. We're taking Appa. No, stop sinking. Ah. Ah. No. Ah. No. No. You did everything you could, Toph. We'll get Appa back. I have no doubt. Oh my god, yeah, hold the monkey, hold the monkey. <laughs> I'm almost scared, I'm scared. <laughs> At least I'll have one specimen to add to my collection. Yeah! Oh my god. That is horrifying. Could you imagine watching this at night as a kid? I'd be so scared, holy hell. I think it's a nightmare fuel. It's good here. I've studied northern water style, southern water style, even foggy swamp style. Oh, damn! That's Sokka style! That's for real! Oh my god! Sock it to him! Sock it to him! <laughs> I'm not leaving. I can't. I've spent too long trying to find this place. There's not another collection of knowledge like this on Earth. I could spend an eternity in here. Just go! If that makes him happy, I guess he better off dead. I don't know. Off we go! Oh, he's flying up for real. Oh! Top did it! Top, honey, you did it! I know you're sad about Alpha, but you did it! You did it! We got it! There's a solar eclipse coming. The Fire Nation's in trouble now. Where's Appa? Oh god! Oh god, my babies are crying! 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 My babies are crying! My babies are crying! My babies are crying! You can't! You can't show Anne crying! You can't show Anne crying because I cry! I cry when my babies cry! You can't show my babies crying! Ah! Ah! Okay. 
Okay, pull it together. Pull it together. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Oh, okay. Thank you for watching this episode. YouTube. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. If you want to if this Patreon stick around for us to talk about this episode a little bit more. And um, thank you for all of your support. But bye, YouTube. See you in the next episode. Bye.